Back to life, back to reality, back to your life, back to reality. Guys, kids are back in school, we did scripture study, we got a lot of laundry and a lot of cleaning to do today, it's going to be a great day. Hi. Getting some breakfast going. I gotta check the hot tub. We did have a neighbor kind of help take care of it, but hopefully it's not too. Pretty funny days. He's just kidding. You can hear him. Okay. So as you can see, the house is starting to look a little bit better. There's not open suitcases on the ground anymore, but it still looks pretty sketchy <laughs> but I'm just reflecting on like I'm working so hard and I have a call with a brand in like 30 minutes and then I have a nail appointment today because these are so long they're about to like bend off my fingers um, but I'm just finding so much joy in the work I've missed working in my house I miss working in the kitchen I haven't cooked for two and a half weeks and I love to cook for my family. That's one of the things that brings me a lot of joy. Um, in fact, I was telling Davey when the temples open back up, I think I wanna volunteer in the kitchens at the temple. I just think that would be so fun. I don't even know if the new temple by us is going to have a kitchen. <laughs> I'm sure they'll have a cafeteria or something though. I would love to help there. Food is one of the things that brings me so much joy and sh like making yummy things and sharing it with people that I love. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. I know some people don't love it and that's, I'm so glad we're all different because if we were all the exact same and we were all doing the exact same thing, the world wouldn't function. The variety of our life missions and our talents and our likes and dislikes, that variety is what makes the world what it is and work um, and it's so beautiful so finding joy in the work today I just I feel like I want to just go 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 work all day long get the whole whole house organized um, the kids are gonna be home before I know it though and maybe they'll help me I think they will because I think they've missed it too hopefully <laughs> you know what else I've missed is my puppies Ella's still on a run, but you got to go on a little run today too, didn't you, Cookie? And you need a haircut so, so bad. Yeah, you are just so shaggy. Cookie. <laughs> Cookie. Oh, she's so used to noodle. It's so funny. Be soft. Yeah, be soft. Yeah. Good job, noodle. Kisses. Give puppy kisses. Mwah. Give her kisses. Can you give Cookie a kiss? Give her a kiss. Okay. Good job petting Sotho. Yeah. She's been around you since the day she was born, huh? Oh, and now we're petting the camera. Where? <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> He's smiling in there. <laughs> Gave him a shake as I always do after my run and he's just chugging away in his little man cave. <laughs> he knows he's being funny too. Is that yummy? You hanging out in the dog cage, huh? Hi. Alright, go ahead. Go back to drinking your shake. Okay guys, I know you have been, just been nipping at the butt. Um, Chomping at the bit, chomping at the bit to see the new wheels on our 15 passenger van. So let's get one last look at these hideous, horrible wheels. I'm gonna go get some new ones put on. I'll be right back. You know, we were gonna do it before, but they ordered the wrong ones, so that didn't fit. Had the wrong bolt pattern. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. Show you when I get back. Okay, so I took the wheel, the van in to get the new wheels put on. Apparently it was the wrong size again. It's a very confusing year. They not only changed the bolt pattern, but of the same bolt pattern, there's like six different, then they're just off by like a millimeter, or a few millimeters. So, 
next time it's gonna work for sure and you guys are gonna get to see just how cool this van can look. April has just been so excited to get these put on and Frankie... Frankie thinks sarcasm again. Oh, April... April thinks it's a complete waste of money. Thinks it's a complete waste of money. <laughs> Until she sees them, her whole life's gonna change. So. You're gonna see a difference. Did you take a before picture? Yeah, 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 I did. Today. So, stay tuned for the saga of the new wheels on the 15 passenger van. Right, Frank? Zade has some of his friends over from the swim team. They're having a bleaching party. This was supposed to happen when we, during our extended stay in Mexico. So it's happening tonight. They postponed it a bit. And I think the season's over for Zade, but he still wanted to do something fun with his friends. So I'm going to check on what is happening down there. Okay, Noodle just did something really funny. He totally endowed right here. I wonder if he'll do it again. He did it a few times. He's done it a few times before. Push it. He pushes it until it hits something. Come on, push it. Do you think he's gonna do it again, AB? Actually, no. No, maybe not. Oh, Cookie, you're such a good puppy. You're a good puppy, huh? Oh, you might need a haircut soon, huh? <laughs> See if he does it again. Wait, stand back. Oh! <laughs> oh, I don't think, okay, it's up, it's up, it's up. He doesn't get hurt, he just gets mad when it happens. <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> it's kind of How you doing, April? How long have I been doing this? I've done a, a It's 1 a.m. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you guys tired yet? Yeah? <laughs> uh, Alright, good night. Alright guys, I'm um, gonna end the vlog now. A few thoughts. You know, we had, we cleaned all day today. April was gone a good portion of the day getting her nails done and caught up and I was home with the kids off and on and you know, in between cleaning and taking care of the kids, checking on my phone and social media and stuff, and it was it was kind of emotionally draining today. Um, I think people online, I think that so people that do social media for a living don't have feelings, and they can say whatever they want, and I don't know, but yeah, it's just kind of emotionally draining, Dre, like. Today was the day our blog went live of, you know, when we saw a nice um, family that lived right by this, the ocean and they sold seashells to survive. It's their only way to make money. And we wanted to do something fun, so we gave them, we overpaid for some of the seashells. That was it. We shared it not to brag and just to encourage people to do something like that, where you go the $100 challenge, you know? Just wanted to do something fun and something neat and kind of show our kids us giving and show you giving and encourage, to do, encourage you to do the same. And somebody messaged me and was like, shame on you for encouraging your kids and those shells are a home for the sea animals and it's just shame on you. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's of all the things, be mad at somebody for. You're getting mad at me for that? You're shaming me for <laughs> buying seashells? <laughs> it was draining to me, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, you literally cannot do anything on the internet and people, without people getting mad at you. It's like, guys, you gotta start looking for the good and the things people are doing. Like, even in doing something good, people found something bad in it. And it's a, it's a minority. Most people are, are so nice and good, and but there's so many people that pick apart every little thing that everybody does. And you guys, we got to do a little better as a human race. We got to look for the good in others and stop complaining, stop fighting. We just got to do better, be a little kinder. Let's just try to hold our tongue when we want to say something mean to somebody. I know it's easy behind behind the keyboard, behind the screen. It feels like you can say anything you want, like a little dog behind a fence. You can bark and just 
growl and say whatever you want and there's no consequences, but there's always consequences to your words. People feel them. Now, as much as we don't want to, we can have a hundred nice comments and one mean one that that one will stick with us. And I know that's what people want, but be the good you want to see in the world. There's good out there. People are inherently good. People are good, and I get it. People are hurting right now. There's a lot of stuff going on, no matter who you are, where you live, what you believe. There's, there's Life's hard. Life's going to be painful. That's the plan. It's going to be like that. But I think we can, like, we are, we can be the answer to other people's prayers if we can, if we are willing to be an instrument in, in God's hands. And, you know, just be nice to people and look for ways to help others. Just try to bless other people's lives and stop tearing each other down. You know, you can never actually be happier by name calling, by making fun of somebody, by being mean. You know, you feel good for a second, but it's not the way to be happy. So that is my invitation to anyone that sees this video. Let's use the power of the internet to spread love and light. Stop tearing each other down. Stop tearing us down. Like, we're all, when you say something to somebody, it's the same as saying it to to Jesus, you know, he says, inasmuch as you have done it unto least to me, you have done it unto me. So guys, let's be nice. Love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, be nice to people that believe differently than you. We're better than this. Like actual unity, let's go for it. So that's my invitation to the world. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm, I think Zaid might be bleaching his hair, but we will. I'll check in on that uh, tomorrow. We'll show you what they did with his hair. But thanks for watching. Find good in everything and everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.